Hey, palm lovers. As always, unrehearsed, unscripted action. This crazy cowie is always ruining my video. This is probably going to be the last video I show before we start to have the palm trees outside uh, to start to acclimate them to the sun. So back in, hey, back in the beginning of April, I had put my two Adonidium Aureliae, my two Christmas palms outside. And I told you guys that, uh, you know, it was nice weather. I just wanted them to get a little bit of sun to acclimate them. What I didn't realize, now if you remember too, from back in the day, these are ones that got split and I cut the roots and they did great. So that's just a refresher. Um, put them on the back deck, beautiful weather. However, and that's my favorite word in a, in a video is however. However, I did not realize that the spot on the back deck wasn't getting morning and evening sun like I thought. It was getting midday sun. And I didn't know this, why? Because I was at work and I wasn't paying attention. So these absolutely beautifully growing, perfectly healthy palms got completely sunburned to the F-U-C-K in three days. This is how careful you have to be. This could kill the palms. I hope not, um, I will update you. As you can see, you see all this? That's all areas I got sunburn. So what's gonna happen with this frond is, um, it's not gonna kill the frond. There is green that didn't get burned because there was some shading. It will continue to photosynthesize. Same as, oh, here's a good, good spot. You can see here as well. And then on this palm, this actually, I like, I like the light, same thing, okay? So this palm actually didn't get it as bad. Uh, a little bit on the tips here. However, my favorite word, beautiful, no spear coming out, and this guy, oops, it's growing. But crown shafted palms, they need each frond as part of their heart, as their girth. So if you lose too many fronds on a crown shafted palm, it will die because that's part of its structure. Completely different than say, a palm like this, a fan palm, that does not have a crown. You can cut off multiple fronds and it's probably gonna have a lot better shot at surviving than a crown shafted palm like these Christmas palms. So guys, uh, what's coming up in the next couple of videos of palms is acclimation and sun acclimation. So we are now in the beginning of May. And unfortunately we have another chilly week this week with highs of only like 11 Celsius on the 50 degrees marks. Um, not good enough to go outside yet. However, we gotta get them out there we need to get them acclimating to the sun so that when it gets hot outside, they're ready to take on their landscaping duties and be around the pool and all the beautiful spots we want. But you cannot just take a palm. So all these palms, they're all growing indoors, okay? And they're used to these lights in these conditions. In this room, there's always some light, but it's nothing like the sun. And like right now, as always, 76.6. .6. And that heat, as you know, is created by these lights and it's created by the dehumidifier. Uh, the room is a little dry right now, but that's okay. These palms, trust me, it's fine. Uh, yeah, we get more bugs because of it, but um, I don't want to get mold in my room. I had mold before, running the humidity higher, 50, 60%. No, 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 I'm not, I don't want mold in the house. I'll worry about the bugs and spray them later, not a big deal. Anyway, off, off topic. So this is what happens when you just take a palm. I've done a video like this before, from inside, where it's been for like, say six months, and just put it outside. So we will do another video this spring of acclimating what we're gonna do. And I'll show you what I, where I put the palms in the, in the daytime and at nighttime and protect them. Oops, dehumidifier just turned on. And while we're here, might as well make this video a little bit longer. Uh, I wanted to also tell you guys about some of the palms I have actually thought that didn't work well, didn't thought they weren't gonna do so well, ended up being really good candidates for indoor growth. One of the first ones, got this from my friend James in Norfolk Exotics last year, Thrinox radiata, the Florida thatch palm. Sorry, there's a foxtail beside it. I bought this one as a, as a, like a three gallon. So I didn't, I didn't grow this one from seed. But as you can tell, look at this thing. Like amazing, absolutely amazing. This palm is doing so good. So a candidate for an indoor palm for here in Ontario, Canada, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Also, uh, Bismarck Yenobilis, as you know, had this guy for a couple of years now. Um, very slow under this lighting conditions and under this heat, 
but it's got a regular trunk, like a, it's a palm, uh, a palmate palm, so very hardy, doing really good. Coco Thrinax crinita, pretty rare up here in Canada. Awesome, well, this is like my favorite palm ever. Seven gallon, I wanna thank James once again at Norfolk Exotics for bringing this guy in for me last year. I wanted something that was a little bit bigger. And so what it does indoors is that little spear, it's, I think this thing has opened one frond in like five months. They're very slow, especially under low uh, heat and not hot conditions. So what? What? But has done very well indoors. A um, little bit of sun. Uh, that's actually from last year's damage from uh, when I brought it home. And then, of course, the old uh, bottle pump. Same thing. Got this one from Norfolk Exotics uh, as a seven gallon. Uh, is actually growing very well. You see there's a new spear opening. That is the last sunburn frond from last summer. So as you can see, it, it took the whole winter to grow new fronds to get rid of the old growth. And also it's a crown shafted palm, so you gotta be careful how much uh, dies. So, but I've, I'm gonna give it a pretty good thumbs up on surviving and doing pretty well indoors. A little LED plant grow light is all it gets. Nice and warm room. And uh, I only water these palms every couple of weeks. Yeah, probably every two weeks I water these palms. And that's it. And that works perfect for them. So we've come a long way in the last couple of years on this channel on doing indoor palms. So this is gonna be probably one of the last videos. Uh, we're gonna do another couple of videos on some seedlings soon. Look at that, just for a teaser. Pretty cool. And uh, we'll start doing some outdoor stuff soon. So anyway, guys, thank you so much. I know the palm people have been waiting for some videos and uh, we got lots to talk about still. Um, now that my COVID's gone, I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm off for a couple more weeks, which is awesome. Uh, that's allowing me to do some videos and we're gonna catch up a little bit on some stuff. So we're at seven minutes, it's time. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.